Okay, we got an 8800 GTX graphics card kind of pooped out on us. Some uh, art artifacts on the screen. I've done this before. Nobody knows how to videotape this properly. Every time I watch a video, they're not doing it right or whatever. Maybe I'm wrong, but this is the way I do it. Get the graphics card. Remove all the screws so you can get the fan off. Remove your little power cable. Remove the fan. And in here, you get some rubbing alcohol as such, whatever, t-shirt, cotton balls, whatever. Take the thermal paste off the processor so it's nice and clean. Do the same thing on the back side on a little copper uh, connector. So once this is clean, what you're going to do is set your oven to 385. We're going to put it in the oven at 385 for 8 to 10 minutes. I've been using it face down, others say do it face up. So the next thing you're going to do is get your graphics card. And I've already done this on an 8800 GT. You want it as level as possible, so you want to prepare some kind of aluminum foil rack tray. Put the graphics card on top of some foil balls. So it's more or less level so like perpendicular to the ground so now we're going to stick it in the oven and see how that goes okay we're now we're at the stove temperature 385 set it about 10 minutes Start the timer and put this inside the oven. Right on the middle rack, close it on up and we'll wait when this timer stops is between 8 and 10 minutes. And then we'll do another important step as far as how we're going to cool it down. So the graphics card is inside just fine. Inside the oven, just cooking away. And I would suggest that you turn on a fan on your stove because it can get a little smelly. So turn on your fan. And then we'll come back here when this gets down to uh, zero. Okay, the timer is almost down to zero. It's been in about nine minutes and 30 seconds or so. So what I'm gonna do when the timer runs out is I'm gonna shut off the oven, but I'm gonna, the trick here is you gotta let this thing cool down slowly. Okay, so it's been about 9.30 or so. The oven's set to 385 still. I'm gonna go ahead and stop the oven and now I'm gonna let it sit here for maybe another minute without even opening the door so what you do is the trick is you gotta let this thing cool down slowly so for the other 30 seconds or so I leave it in the oven even though the ovens off so that's slowly cooling it down and then uh, from this point what I do is I'm just going to crack the oven door about like this, let all the heat out for about a, I don't know, about a half an hour or so, 20 minutes, half an hour, whatever, until it cools in this fashion. That gives you an even cool down period, so everything's going to work better from my experience. And the same thing applies to an 8800 GT video card. I did that yesterday, and this is the 8800 GTX. So I'm going to let this cool down for half an hour, then I'm going to come back and uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, put it back together and pop it in the machine and see how it works. Yeah, it's been cooling for about 15 minutes already. i got about 5 more minutes or 10 more minutes. What you might want to do is 
kind of widen up this oven a little bit more. Let it sit in there still for a while, for the last five or ten minutes in the oven. Still kind of warm in here, so it's still cooling down. You get it nice, slowly cool down, slowly cool down this thing, so it's, it's going to cool down very slowly. Okay, it's been about 20-25 minutes. I'm going to take the uh, graphics card out. You may want to get a glass of wine to enjoy your graphics card at the same time. We're going to get this graphics card after it's been nice and cool and we're going to basically reassemble it. But the first thing you're going to have to do is obtain some thermal paste and put a dab right here on the GBU and use yourself like a little credit card to spread it out nice and evenly um, and then we're going to go ahead and put the fan and heat sink back on top of the processor and reassemble the graphics card and then we're going to pop it right back in okay now when you put the thermal paste on don't put too much okay just put in a little dab I'm going to put some on right here. That might be about good enough right there, okay? I suggest you get yourself a flimsy credit card as such and distribute this nice and clean over the processor, okay? Depending upon the size of the processor, you may want more than this. But uh, I, I tend to try to cover the processor evenly. And if you need a little more, then put just a little more. Don't overdo it the first time you put it on. So just be gradual about how much you're putting on and then just make sure that you're evenly distributing it across the whole processor okay so that's about right there just don't put too much and be very careful not to get it around surrounding areas uh, because it will cause a, a short okay you might want to have a couple Q-tips available just in case something kind of spills anywhere. Just make sure that it's cleaned up. And now we're ready to go ahead and assemble the um, graphics card. So we're going to get the fan. And we're going to go ahead and put it back together. Make sure that once you put it on, you don't slide it around. So get it in there pretty good. Get your power connection back onto the card. And put your screws and start going at it. So what I'll do is... Reassemble this graphics card. Just get your standard Phillips screwdriver. And put all these screws that are here on the back side of the graphics card. I'll do that now and then when it's assembled I'll show you the end result. Alright. I put on all the little screws. Right here. Right here. All these screws. These little screws. There's another one. That came off. Plus on the GTX 8800 there's two black screws right here, right on the top. You want to make sure that you put those on securely. Well, this thing's ready to go ahead and put back into the computer. We're gonna give it a we're gonna give it a test drive. Make sure you have your wine with you, and let's give it a shot and see how it works. All right, let's do this. Here's a graphics card right out of the oven. Here is the computer beast. We're going to go ahead and get the graphics card in here. Sorry about that. And off we go. We're going to put it in right back in our machine and fire it up. See how it works. Okay, graphics card's in, reassembled. Let's go ahead and power this baby up. 
and let's see what we get on our screen before I before I cooked this card I had a lot of artifacts on the screen bunch of red lines squigglies it's working like a champ right now already now you can see I booted this thing up and it's running just like normal um, so quick recap one you see those artifacts on the screen or you can't boot it or this it's black or it's completely dead your graphics card seems like to be toast remove the graphics card remove the fan okay number one remove the fan from the graphics card number two clean off any thermal paste from the GBU and the and the fan copper um, heat sink get your oven uh, up to 385 put the graphics card uh, I do face down uh, nice and level on a cookie uh, tray with some foil balls to keep it nice and level um, and then uh, cook it for uh, 8 to 10 minutes shut the oven off wait about 30 seconds to a minute crack the oven wait about 15 minutes open the oven wait about five more minutes or so then after it's cool pull it out of the oven and basically apply a new thermal paste evenly distribute the thermal paste over the uh, card reassemble the fan onto the graphics card put the graphics card back into your computer connect it power it up see how it goes so I hope this helps and I hope this is a lot of detail step by step so those that have never done it before can find this useful and pass it on to their friends and save themselves a couple hundred bucks. Take care, guys.